Exercise 9, Mathematical Induction in Equality Type. Prove by mathematical induction that 2 to the n is greater than n squared for n greater than or equal to 5. Okay, now just pause the video. Okay, now here we go. This time it's for n greater than or equal to 5, so, so for n equals 5, n equals 5. The left hand side is equal to 2 to the 5, which is 32. The right hand side is equal to 5 squared, which is 25. And clearly, 32 is greater than 25. Therefore, true statement. Statement here is true for n equals 5. Now, we'll assume the statement is true for n equals k. That is, 2 to the k is going to be greater than k squared. Now, prove statement is true for n equals k plus 1. That is, 2 to the k plus 1 is greater than k plus 1 all squared. Now what I'll do here, I'll multiply both sides of A by 2, which makes this one, I'll just write that, that again, 2 to the k is greater than k squared, and we're going to multiply both sides by 2, because that makes that. 2 to the k plus 1 is greater than 2k squared. Right. Now, if a is greater than b, and b is greater than c, this will imply that a has got to be greater than c. Right, so I've got to show then that this here is greater than that. So if that is greater than that, then this will be greater than that. Okay? Let's have a look. We have to prove that 2k squared is greater than k plus 1 all squared. Or 2k squared minus k plus 1 all squared is greater than 0. Now, so I'll look at the left hand side. I'll say the left hand side is equal to 2k squared minus k squared minus 2k minus 1, which equals k squared minus 2k minus 1. Now I'll complete the square here, right? That's 2k squared minus 2k, and this will be have to be plus 1 minus 2, which is k minus 1 all squared minus 2. Okay. Now and Clearly, this would be this is greater than naught if so we've got to say k minus one all squared minus two is greater than naught. Now we'll write this as k minus one all squared greater than two. Take the square root of both sides. We get k minus one is greater than equal to plus or minus 
root 2. So this k is going to be greater than 1 plus or minus root 2. So the biggest one is 1 plus root 2. Now k was greater than 5, so clearly this must be true. So for this to be true, k must be bigger than 1 plus root 2, and clearly it is, because k has got to be gra oh, greater than or equal to 5. k was equal to 5. Therefore, the statement is true for n equals k plus 1. Now, the statement is true for n equals 5. So, by mathematical induction, the statement is true for all n greater than or equal to 5.